Have you ever been working in Revit and you switch to an elevation or a section view only to find one or more of your levels seems to be missing? Um, if that's the case, then I'm going to explain in this video exactly what's going on and how to get those levels to show. In order to demonstrate this, I've got a very simple model. Just switch to a 3D view here. So simple box and we've got three levels. So let's go back to the south elevation. So we can clearly see our three levels there, level zero, one and two. Now if I switch to the east elevation, so i.e. a camera here where the cursor is looking this way at the end of the building, we open that. We can see level zero, we can see level one, but level two is missing. Now you may have come across something like this and particularly for new users, um, you immediately think, where is that level? Um, and there is sometimes an inclination to create another level thing. Oh, well, actually, it's missing from this view. I'll just pop one back in. There is no need to do that. And in fact, that's not the correct answer to it. The level, as we've seen in the other elevation, is definitely in the model. It's just that we can't see it here. So what's the reason for that? Well, let's go back to that south elevation. Now, if I select a level there, you can think of levels as horizontal planes. So in the elevation view, we can see a line, a dashed line, which represents the height of the level. However, the level itself is a 3D object. It's part of the model and it's a horizontal plane in the model. So at the moment, that horizontal plane extends from here to there. Now, let's now flip to a plan view for a second. Now, here was the elevation we were just in, the south elevation. We were looking that way and we could see all three of our levels. This was the east elevation. Now, if I just select the elevation itself and we look at the depth of the elevation, I've pulled that back to here. So the camera is only looking this far into the model. Now, the problem is that top level, level two, the 3D part of it, the plane, only extends to about this point. It doesn't cross over or encroach into this zone, the depth of field, if you like, of the elevation. Hence, we can't see it. The other two elevations, they're the 3D portion or 3D extents of the levels that does actually extend into here, into the zone. Hence, when you look from this direction, you can actually see them highlighted and displayed. So whether or not you see a level in any particular view depends on whether the 3D extent of the level itself, i.e. the horizontal plane, actually encroaches into the depth of the view in which you're trying to view those levels, be it an elevation or a section. So let's go back to the south elevation. And we can see that there. There is the 3D extent of that level and level zero is exactly the same below it however level two is back there so if i just extend that so it matches the others we switch back to the east elevation and there it is level two suddenly appears now if i go to a 3d view as long as you've got levels turned on in the visibility and graphic settings you can actually see there the horizontal planes and if you select one, again, you can drag them. Let's do it with a different one here, the middle one. Pick the grip, pull it back. And now if we go to the east elevation, it's that middle one we can't see because it, we've pulled it back and it's no longer within falls within the depth of this view in which we're looking now into the screen. And finally, I'm just going to switch back to that original elevation and just explain that each level does have a 3D extent and a 2D extent. So the 2D is just the graphical part here, what you want displayed in that particular view, i.e. the dashed line. And the 3D extent is the actual 3D horizontal plane that we've just talked about and we've seen in that 3D view. So if you go and click on 3D itself, you can now separate the 2D aspect. So if you only want the, um, let's pull that back a little bit further. If you just want the dashed line to appear here at the side of your elevation, 
but you actually want the 3D extent to continue here and let's drag that over so that when we're looking from that end elevation we still see that level marked on then we can do that we can control independently the 3D plane here which as we said controls whether it's seen in other views and the 2D aspect just here um, which literally just display how you want it displayed in this particular view we're looking at now.